Okay, so now we're going to show you the operation of the breathalyzer. We've uh, connected the batteries. We're going to demonstrate this with a clear plastic unidirectional valve mouthpiece. Uh, these just show the valve quite nice and clearly because you can see through the plastic. They're all the same design. Some are opaque plastic, these are clear. The mouthpiece fits into the side of the unit such. Doesn't go far in, it only goes in about one and a half to two mils, but it's quite firm when it's attached, you can hold the whole unit by it. And then the power operation on the back, the breathalyzer is a single button operation, press and hold. You'll get a count display initially, which just flashed up as zero, 01, and then it starts counting down, usually either from 350 or 300 down to 100. And basically, what it's doing there is asking you to wait while it cleans the sensor and warms the sensor ready for testing. You'll see that the speed of the countdown has slowed considerably, just below 100. That's quite normal depending on the ambient room temperature that you're operating these systems at. You will get quite a variation in it, it may suddenly speed up again. And when it's ready for the breath to be uh, put through the unit, you'll get a single beep operation. So I'll just let you watch that as it counts down and hear the tone to indicate that the breathalyzer is ready to work. We'll just wait and watch that now. There we go, and you get a blow symbol asking you to blow. You've got to initiate the blow within five seconds, so we're going to do that off camera now. And if you make note of that tone, you get a continuous tone while the breath sample is going through, and then a double tone at the end. And then it works out your milligrams per deciliter breath alcohol concentration and displays it to three decimal places, 0, 0.000 here. Now, if that had been above an equivalent of 0.05% BAC, we would have got a fast tone warning, because these are preset at the factory to give you that audible warning at 0.05% BAC equivalents and above. That's blood alcohol concentration. So there we are. We've demonstrated the AL7000, how easy and quick it is to do a spot check of breath alcohol content. These do display breath alcohol content directly in milligrams per litre. It's important that you realise the scales that these units are displaying in and there are two common use scales, breath alcohol concentration and blood alcohol concentration. If you're wanting to compare the two you need to get hold of a conversion table so you can see what the equivalent blood is for the breath that's measured and vice versa. So that's the AL7000 digital breathalyzer. It's available from Value Breathalyzers websites, UK drug testing. Uh, it's a very good unit, nice and robust as we say. It's got a good storage case ideal unit for small businesses to do spot checks on alcohol or if they consider somebody's tending workplace under the influence you can get an indication of what the uh, levels are and whether you need to investigate it further by using one of these units. They're not expensive to buy, we're looking at 65 to 70 pounds. By the time you put the sensors or spare sensor on and additional mouthpieces you're still well under 100 pounds and you're only on cost basically are the bags and mouthpieces and replacement sensors every 200 tests.